Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. The other day we took a look at my new Predator Hellhounds miniatures for the Alien vs Predator The Hunt Begins board game, um, which is also compatible with the Alien vs Predator Unleashed tabletop miniatures game. And today we're looking at another product that arrived at the same time, which is the Female Predator. Now, this miniature was £20, which is a lot for a single miniature. We are now sort of well up into Games Workshop Hero miniature pricing there. Um, but it is supposed to be quite a large miniature. So let's have a little look and see. It's a single, single female predator. Apparently she is such a badass. She does... She's kind of like a lone wolf. She can she can take on take on the horde single handedly. And um, from the uh, from the uh, image on the back, it's quite a badass pose she's in. She's certainly looking like she's bringing the pain. Uh, can't open the box. Can I open it? There you go. Out you come. boxes my nemesis i haven't actually looked at this yet all i did was uh, i took the shrink off beforehand so this is an exciting moment for me as it is for you dun 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 she's got some bubble wrap uh cards well the, the, the card and token and um and then a minute miniature and and yeah and yeah she is big she is a Blooming big miniature. Check that out. Wow, we that is right. We'll deal with the uh, the elephant in the room in a moment. But for now, I'm just gonna. I mean, this base is just incredible. The 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 detailing on that base. And it's obviously given them the opportunity to to make this sort of leaping pose, which is absolutely brilliant. The the form, the shape of the miniature is fantastic because it, it, it goes up and then it's sort of going back on itself and she's she's mirroring the the reverse angle of this armature here. And then obviously the um the spiked staff coming out sort of capping off the shape there's such a great sense of dynamic forward motion there and um yeah and the the just it's the very it's a very um marvel superhero comic book sort of an image um it is in one one stage you know it's sort of a fantastic classic pose on the other it is it is a female character doing that back break thing where where their their back goes so far backwards in, in in order to um to thrust the chest forwards now Produs games um they they have to work to uh, Fox's guidelines. Fox gets final approval on everything. So as far as as I can tell, Fox, this is this is what Fox believes a female predator is. And but I don't know that I, I'm not. I, I well, as much as I think the uh, this the actual the sculpt, the detailing, the shape, the dynamic nature of this miniature is fantastic. Um, the bubies just look a bit silly. Um, it's it's really really odd. Uh, it's, um, but yeah, like I say, I mean, it's 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 obviously this has been approved by Fox, but I can't, I kind of feel like that maybe she, she should, you know, there should be some like some chest armor or something, or I d I don't I don't know. I guess it's I guess it's a thing, but um, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not in, into the into the bubies really. I think it's actually it actually makes the makes the the miniature look a little bit on the silly side from but it, which is a shame because everything else I think the, the the posing and everything I just think is very very cool, and she is, it's a big old miniature. You can see that you know standing next to your alien queen and just looking properly badass 
But anyway, I'm not going to dwell on bubies anymore, and I'm not going to say that again. So, there we go. Let's, um, I've got my hellhounds here from, from the previous video. Oh my goodness. She is huge. She really is. Um, and she, she does have a, a stat line to match. She is suitably terrifying. Um, she, she can kick some tail. Um, yeah. Is it worth £20? I don't know. Um, I, I'm collecting these miniatures, so I wanted wanted everything. Um, I do feel like I, I would rather she'd had, I don't know, a slightly different sculpting on the chest, really. Um, but the, but the, actual, the actual flow of the miniature is absolutely lovely. I don't know. I guess I'm, I guess I'm in two minds about this one a little bit. What's everybody else's opinions? Let's have a quick look at the card, and then we'll call it a day. The um the cards and tokens for this game are very thin and not very good quality. But there she is. That's her token. And this is the card. She has got wrist darts and a combi stick. Rate of attack four. CC of seventeen. Strength fourteen. Three wounds. Invulnerable twelve plus save. Well, armor twelve save. She's a seasoned hunter. When a ping token with the seasoned hunter special skill is revealed, the respective predator model can be placed anywhere within one tile from the point of reveal. However, the model cannot be placed on any tile located towards any enemy model. With line of sight to the predator, fair enough. Um, I'm surprised that's her only special skill. But yeah, she is quite a punch character. Um, and yeah, and that's it. That's that shallot. It's cool miniature. The detailing is fantastic. And I noticed that there is some some little bits of flash here. You don't normally get that um, very much with these uh, unicast miniatures, but by ordering this character, or in fact uh, it was either ordering that or the Predator Hellhounds, or in my case ordering both, you got a free promotional figure. So bonus content! Dun, 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 dun. It's Chester the Cat, or in uh, the, the, the uh, it, yeah, it's supposed to be Jonesy, isn't it? But they obviously don't have the rights to Jonesy, so it's Chester, and, and Chester is eating a face hugger in the picture there and in fact is eating a face hugger in the miniature don't eat face huggers they are incredibly spicy you will get a tingle on your tongue if you go eating the face hugger Jonesy the cat doesn't come with a card or anything um, but there is um, going to be a scenario online that you can download that uses Jonesy and you can use, use I'm going to call it Jonesy, it's Chester just uh but um there is that's a cool miniature that's a really cool miniature um yeah the cat's about to have its face full melted off though if it takes a big bite out of that dead thing um uh that dead face hugger right i'm assuming it's dead it might not be dead that's a great miniature that's a really cool miniature um but yeah so there's going to be a scenario online if, if it's not already up and obviously it's also good for um, an objective token. You can use it in um, custom scenarios, things like that. Um, I'm sure you could, you could come up with some, some simple rules for it, for adding it to a marine team or something. Um, so you can give it, uh, give it the ability to run through um, vents, things like that. Cool, it's a very cool miniature. I'm very glad to have it. And yeah, you could get this by pre-ordering Either the uh, the female predator or the predator hellhounds, and that is that. Um, yeah, still very much liking the um, the Prodos miniatures. Um, I have to say that the hellhounds probably my least favourite thing they've done so far to date. 
um, and I do have my m minor misgivings about the the female predator, but it is it's nice to have um, some alt gender characters. Um, they they there's a, there's a couple of uh, uh, female marines, and now we also have the uh, the female predator. So that's that's nice. That's good, and um, and I have a little kitty cat too. And that's it from me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye bye.